Hello friends, Osiris here and in today's video I want to talk about the starter Pokemon that we potentially might see in Pokemon Legends ZA. So one of the first things that we got with the introduction of Pokemon Legends Arceus was a brand new set of starter Pokemon from all different generations like we've never seen before. And the thought of that is pretty exciting going into this next segment in the Legends series. The big question is, are they going to continue this trend going into Kalos this time in Lumio City or are we going to see just something completely different and another curveball sent our way from Pokemon? There's a big part of me and I'm probably a lot of you aren't going to like this, but I do think maybe if Pokemon Legends the years and set too far in the past that we might just end up seeing the Fennekin, Chespin and Froki as our starter Pokemon like the original X and Y starters that might be just what we see and that could be curveball enough for everyone expecting that we are going to get a new starter set going into these games but it would make sense also to have the original Kalos starters the other reason for that is as well because they never got mega evolutions in those x and y games and you think because they are kind of the starters from that region we got a bunch of other starters with mega evolutions but just not those maybe this is the game where they're like okay we're focusing in on the Kalos starters they're all going to get their special mega evolutions that they never got before so again that could be another reason why we see those Palos start as picked rather than a new combination of other Pokemon. Of course, we did get Battle Bond Greninja as well, so that was something else, but it wasn't really a mega evolution, was it? So I do think there is some weight there and some thought to have that we could expect potentially just those Kalos starters rather than anything new, but that takes away from the fun of today's video. I think there is a few Pokemon that we can easily discount from this list and put together a final list where we can pick our starter Pokemon. I think it's easy to discount the Cantonian starters. They've not only got Mega Evolutions, but they were featured in X and Y as kind of a secondary starter set, right? So I think for those reasons alone, they probably will be included in the game. But I think we'll have to obtain them in other means rather than them feature as the initial starter Pokemon that we'll see. I think Cyndaquil is the next one we can knock off the list as a possibility. It was featured in Pokemon Legends Arceus as a starter there, so I don't see them repeating it. But the Chikorita and the Totodile in particular, are they going to go down the line of Mega Meganium? That would be the only thing that would maybe put me off the Chikorita, but we'll leave it in there for the moment. And Totodile is an easy one to leave in there, especially if it got a Mega Evolution. Mega Feraligatr would be amazing to see and definitely one of my top picks going into this one. But I do think these two are definite possibilities. I think the Gen 3 starters, for the fact that they have also had Mega Evolutions, we've got Mega Blaziken, Mega Sceptile, and Mega Swampert, I feel like these are going to be discounted straight away as well, just for those reasons. I think there is a lot of reference that we can take from Torchic in particular. When we look back to that reveal trailer of the starter Pokemon being introduced to the Indigo Disc, if you look at that, one of the starting scenes is that the Cyndaquil is next to the Torchic. And a lot of people are pointing in that and saying, oh, that is a that is a reference. We've got the Pokemon Legends Arceus starter right next to potentially what could be the Legends ZA starter in Torchic. And I think Mega Blaziken already existing makes that unlikely in some respect, because I think if they are going to introduce three new starter Pokemon to this region, to this game, I think they're all going to be Pokemon that don't have a Mega Evolution before. Of course, there is that huge reference to the Gaelic Cockerel in Paris as well. It's a very prominent emblem in France, in Paris in particular. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Le Coq Gouloua is the symbol, the emblem of the rooster, the Cockerel that we see throughout France in a lot of different ways. It would be a huge nod to something like Blaziken that we know is a Cockerel or based on some sort of rooster Pokemon. But I think, again, it's just a bit too obvious. And like I say, Pokemon don't ever do the obvious i mean legend z is a great example of that right here and right now i think when it's too obvious i think it's just not gonna happen so for those reasons we'll discount all of the gen 3 starters just because of those mega evolutions and how obvious some of those picks are now i think the gen 4 starters chimchar turtwig and piplup could be good contenders but again the one that i'm going to discount from this list and probably a lot of you aren't going to like because it is a huge fan favorite and it is something that I would love to see get a Mega Evolution, but it is going to be Piplup. I think the links between Piplup and obviously Empoleon, Napoleon, and that French tie there, again, is very obvious. And again, if we go back to that trailer originally announcing the start of Pokemon in the Indigo Disc, it was right next to the Oshawa, the other Pokemon Legends Arceus starter Pokemon. And I think for that reason alone, it probably scratches it off the list straight away for myself. So I would discount the Piplup here. 
and we would leave the Turtwig and the Chimchar as possibilities because I do feel like they could be potentially the starter picks that we see going into this game or at least one of them the gen 5 pokemon are interesting ones snivy again is a lot like the piplup again it was featured next to rowlet in that reveal trailer for the indigo disc with the starter pokemon being introduced so it does give you an instant nod to say okay well that one is in pokemon legends arceus this one's going to be the next one i just think it's too obvious and then when you look at superior as well it's kind of royalty presence that it's got. It's got almost a fleur de lis on its chest. I just feel like the ties there are so obvious. It's almost like a red herring saying, well, yeah, this is definitely, it would make so much sense for this to be the starter that Pokemon are going to look at it and say, no, we're going a different direction with this. We're going to go with a different link if they are mixing up the starter Pokemon. So for that reason, I feel like Snivy is not going to be a pick as much as I would love to see it happen. And on top of that as well, I do still think and fully believe that we are going to get a black and white remake announced some point this year and come out this year. And for those reasons as well, the starter Pokemon, if it is a remake, are going to be the original black and white starter. So they will feature as a starter Pokemon in that. And a bit like Pokemon Legends Arceus in the way in which we saw Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl come out and the starter Pokemon from Gen 4 in those BDSP games wasn't the starter pokemon in pokemon legends arceus so for those reasons i am going to discount all of the gen 5 pokemon so sorry snivy tepig and oshawott as well oshawott's an obvious one because it was a starter pokemon in pokemon legends arceus now we've already touched about the gen 6 pokemon and the reasons why i could see them just being the starter set going into these new games bit of a curveball but it makes a lot of sense right if we're not set too far in the past we could just see Fennekin, Chespin and the Froki as the starter set and them end up getting mega evolutions in the game. But I think if we are following suit from that Pokemon Legends Arceus game and we are going to get a new starter set with every new Legends game, it gives them a chance to mix up these Pokemon and kind of redesign some of the final evolutions if they feel like they need a revamp or just an alternative form. It does give you a reason for that. So I think potentially for this game, we'll discount the generation six starters just for that reason as well now going into generation seven obviously rowlet because it did feature in that original pokemon legends arceus starter set i think that makes sense that it's not going to be a repeat again so we can discount that one straight away but litten and poplio are definitely possibilities then going into generation eight the skull bunny grookey and sobble i do feel like they could be definite possibilities one of these could feature as one of the new starter pokemon in these games and then you have to finally discount the Generation 9 starters because I think the one thing that you would say about the Pokemon Legends Arceus game was that we didn't feature any of those Generation 8 starters. None of them appeared in the games at all. And I think because these Generation 9 starters, the Fiococo, Sprigatito and Quaxley are all in Scarlet and Violet now. That's their kind of own space at the moment. I don't think they're going to be ported to anything else anytime soon. So we'll have to wait way further down the line before we see those introduced maybe in future games. So for that reason, we'll scratch them off. That leaves us with nine Pokemon in total to pick from. So really cutting down a lot of the field for, I think, pretty solid reasons, which leaves us the Chimchar, Litten, Skull Bunny, the Chikorita, Turtwig and Grookey. And then the Totodile, Poplio, and the Sobble. So these are our final ones. And we have to get down to a final three. Now, I think the one thing that you could potentially say here is Chimchar, although I would love to see it get a Mega Evolution, is probably not really got any connection to France. Like the Skull Bunny has, it's an easy one to make. Football, of course. France love football. France are good at football. So there's the easy link there. And also how close... Galar is to Kalos as well. That kind of connection with those two regions being so close to each other. Could see Skull Bunny make its way over to Kalos from Galar and be one of the starter selections here to end up getting a Mega Evolution, which would be kind of fun to see. I think the other thing to think as well is that Litten, France have a big affinity with cats and cats are a huge part of French culture. French people love cats. So that could be a big point to saying that Litten could be one of the starter Pokemon that we see going into these new games. I think going down to the grass starters, instantly I want to say, it's as sad as it makes me because I would love nothing more than to see a regional form of Meganium or even a mega evolution of Meg Meganium, you know, Mega Meganium. I think for that reason alone, we're probably not going to see a Mega Meganium, unless they do a final evolution of Chikorita and it's got a completely different name to Meganium. So making that Mega Meganium thing not a 
thing and then they give it a new me mega evolution but it's still meganium in some roundabout ways i just don't know i just feel for those reasons alone that we're probably not going to see chikorita featured here we'll have to wait for a, a later generation a later game for that pokemon in particular to get some love could see the Turtwig and the Grookey as potential options. Of course, we will have to discount the Grookey if Skull Bunny is our starter Pokemon from the 8th generation. Then we move down onto the water types. I think Totodile. Totodile, you say, okay, well, what are the connections with Totodile to Paris, to France? Well, there is an interesting story. In 1984, there was a crocodile found in the Paris sewers, and then that baby crocodile that was found was taken to the Paris Zoo and it's still there to this day. So there is that kind of fun story. It's quite a famous story in Paris. Poplio. I don't know what connection we've got with Poplio to Kalos. Probably one that I would say is more that I could discount in the first place. And of course, Sobel is a kind of frog type of Pokemon. I guess you could classify it as a, a sort of frog Pokemon, right? And Ants are known to love frogs and eat frogs, legs and stuff like that. So I guess there's that tie there. But I, I do think probably Sobel isn't one of the starters that we see here. Although Inteleon could be another one that we do see as a mega evolution. But I'm going to say we'll discount Sobel for now because the waiting on that and just because the French are known to eat frogs as a delicacy did not really put much waiting on it to pick it as one of the starter Pokemon going into this one. Although stranger things have happened. So I think going down here, I would say out of the two generation eight starters, it's probably more likely that we see Skull Bunny over Grookey. Just because of the affinity with football, I think that, that France have got. And then that only leaves one grass starter. So I think we have to say goodbye to Litten for this, which would make me very happy because I think we don't want to see Mega Incineroar as much as I would love to see it in game. I don't want to see it in competitive. But then we have this final starter set of Totodile, Turtwig, and then Skull Bunny. And yeah, there isn't really a connection of the, the tortoise if we're trying to make a connection of a tortoise or a turtle in Paris. But I think, you know, it's one of those Pokemon that's a bit like Chikorita. Torterra is a very cool Pokemon. It's got a very niche fan base. There are a lot of players that really love Torterra and it never felt like it was one of the more popular starters. Whereas, you know, I'm a big fan of Torterra. I'd love to see nothing more than it to get a Mega Evolution. And I think it's enough of a curveball where no one's really expecting Torterra to get a Mega Evolution or be one of the selections for those starter Pokemon that it could be a possibility. I think the Totodile being a fan favorite as well. I think the starter selection looks really good. The Totodile the Turtwig and the Cinderace. There are connections that could be made there with at least two of them. But I think as a as a collection, aesthetically, it looks pretty good, I think. And I would be really happy with this, uh, with the Totodile, the Turtwig and the Skull Bunny. So they're my selections based on the fact that I think everything that we've seen so far, uh, theory-wise, is just too obvious. And the connections are too obvious to make between the links that were made between the trailer for the Indigo Disc and we saw the the Legends Arceus starters right next to those other ones and how obvious and the connections that those other Pokemon that were next to those original starters from Pokemon Legends Arceus are. I think it just it's too easy for us to make that assumption and the connections to France and Paris in particular. So for those reasons, I think that they are not going to be part of the starter selection that we do see. But the most important thing is, what do you think? This has been a fun video to do. I've really liked seeing it. And I think one of the reasons why I'm doing this now early on is because probably we'll see the selection of starter Pokemon very early on in the release trailers in the run up to these games. It is normally one of the first things that they show on the gameplay trailers, the starter Pokemon that you get from this region. But don't discount the fact that we could just see the original X and Y starters in these games as well. So I think a 50-50 on the X and Y starters and then this fun selection that we've put together today with the Totodile, the Turtwig and the Cinderace. I just didn't want to go too deep down the rabbit hole with obvious connections to Paris with the starter Pokemon alongside some of the other footage that we've already had in different trailers and then make those links that are pretty obvious to make going into these games. Like I say, I think the big thing to think about is Pokemon don't like to do the obvious. And I think because they are so obvious and everyone's making those connections that I think for those reasons, they're not going to be the Pokemon that we see being selected as the different starter set that we might get in Pokemon Legends ZA. But let me know what you think. What is your perfect starter selection down in the comment section below? There doesn't need to be any sense behind it. 
what starters would you like to see as a combination in these new games if thank you so much for tuning in to today's video though friends i hope you found it enjoyable let me know what you think about my crazy theories around these starter sets and do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our pokemon content thanks so much for tuning in have a great rest of your day i'll see you in another video very soon until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye